the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold. But Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon. When Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience... in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something wrong. If you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the finish. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of and the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Davis! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. So here is Conor McGregor yet again. You hear the Irish fans going bananas. There is no atmosphere in the fight game at present. Quite like Conor McGregor inside this UFC octagon immediately. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. This is a terrible position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Hard to get back up again, and he's there. Beautifully placed in time, knee there by McGregor. Oh, another knee. Oh, doubling up on the knee. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air to try to return him back. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with the You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that option. Yeah, you don't go with him. No. He 
Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an aggressive. Back to his feet. Inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by Knockout Davis. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carried to the club tonight. 